What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live, but not live, from Miami Airport, where we are going to be showing you JoJo's bedtime and morning routine on a plane. We fly quite frequently, and a lot of our flights can be overnight, and so we have developed a bit of a bedtime and morning routine for JoJo, which we're going to share with you today. Before getting on the plane though, Jojo will like to walk around the shops where we'll maybe get some food or supplies, or most likely some additional snacks for us to take onto the plane. In general, he likes having the open space to explore new things at the airport. Then as we get on the plane and find our seats, Jojo will usually sit in the middle of three seats so he has both of us either side of him. We always make sure we get three seats in a row so that when it's Jojo's bedtime, he can lay straight across the three seats as he finds this very comfy. Once seated with his seat belt on, we make sure Jojo has everything he needs in his seat pocket such as his iPad, snacks, earphones and any other bits he may want. As soon as he is all set up and the plane has begun moving, Jojo will go straight into looking through the in-flight entertainment. He really enjoys takeoff too, and really loves seeing us leave the ground and how the landscape changes. During takeoff, Jojo will drink lots of water as it helps with his ears popping. But in general, he drinks a lot on flights as the body can dehydrate a lot more than normal. Then as we're up in the air, he'll have a snack like some grapes and start watching a film. This time, he started watching the film Inside Out, but on this occasion, he found the film quite emotional, so he decided to stop watching it. Then after about 90 minutes into the flight, dinner is served. We feel very lucky being vegan, as it means that our food comes before everyone else's. In this flight, we had a pack of dried fruit, water, a mushroom stew with rice, a salad, a bread roll, and for dessert there was a chocolate cake with raspberries. We clipped Jojo's hair out of his face, not just to help with eating, but also because his eyes were a bit sore after lots of swimming on holiday. Now, we get very excited when the plain food comes because as a family, we really enjoy plain food. Comment below if you also like plain food, or if you don't. This meal was really enjoyable, and we ate every single bit. After dinner is finished and as it starts to get late, we'll start getting Jojo ready for bed. I'll get his onesie out, and he'll get his toothbrush and toothpaste, and we'll go to the bathroom to get his teeth brushed and get him changed, so he's all comfy and ready to settle down for the night. This time he wanted to have a quick peek out of the window at the sky before returning to his seat. We always bring wet wipes with us so that we can wash Jojo's face before bed and for any other time that may require it. Then I'll read Jojo some Harry Potter as that's part of the bedtime routine at home so it makes everything feel nice and familiar for him. And once we've read enough he'll settle watching a film. Comment below if you know what film this is. It's one of our favourites. Maybe you guys like it too. He'll watch a film until he wants to go to bed, at which point Katie gets some pillows on her lap for Jojo to lay on. This will usually be on Katie's lap as she's by the window and away from any trolleys or hot food or drinks in the aisle. He'll have a blanket and an eye mask just to make him that extra bit cosy and help him get a good night's rest.
So, in the morning we have one very sleepy boy. The cabin crew usually turn the lights on about an hour before landing, which helps everyone wake up. And the first thing Jojo will do is have water before getting tucked into his breakfast. The breakfast they served us was a nice pot of fruit and a snack bar. Jojo loves having his fruit first thing in the morning, so he was really happy they served this. They also give us a choice of drinks to have with breakfast, and Jojo chose to have orange juice, which is great because it's one of his favourite drinks. He'll watch another film again, or continue watching whatever he was watching before he went to sleep. Here he's watching a film he's never seen before. Comment below if you know what this is and if you like it. But with breakfast finished, Jojo will now go and get his teeth brushed, so I'll take him to the bathroom for that, before returning to our seats to get ready for landing. We keep Jojo in his onesie rather than changing him, as this ensures he'll be comfy for the remainder of the journey home. Again, he'll have lots of water to help with his ears popping as the plane begins to descend. But you've probably all noticed that since waking up, Jojo has decided to swap seats with Katie and sit by the window. This is because he loves being able to see the sunrise as we're coming down to land. And well, who can blame him? This one looks epic. And yes, eventually we land. You can see Jojo was a bit surprised by that. The pilot had to do a few laps of London before being able to land, so I think Jojo got a bit impatient, but he's more than happy to give us multiple high fives. All right, Jojo, that's enough. So, although we're all landed, the journey doesn't end there as we have to get our hand luggage and get off the plane. Jojo will go and thank the cabin crew, and if he sees them, the pilots too. But once he is off that plane, he is very happy to get his legs moving and run. Look at him go. Jojo has always enjoyed the whole flying experience, even to the point of sometimes insisting on having his own suitcase to pull. But being able to experience the airport, see the airplanes up close is all part of the holiday and part of the travelling we do so frequently. That's why we found that these routines have become so important to ensure he is comfortable and settled each time and knows exactly what to expect. So that is it for today's video guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching, leave your comments below on what you thought was your favourite thing about this video, but also let us know if you have any specific routines when you're on holiday or travelling, and what they are, we'd love to hear about them. And for those of you that are new to this channel and love hearing about our travels, then we'd love it if you subscribed, and also hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we upload, and we'll see you all in the next video, thanks for watching, peace out free game. Thank you.